Hi friends, I'm glad you're here. Today we're making chicken gumbo in the Instant Pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the saute button on, put a couple tablespoons of oil in there. So I have three stalks of celery here. It comes to about a cup. Okay, so I usually cut up a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, and a medium onion. I'm taking a shortcut today. I've got a bag that's got them all mixed together. It's called Pepper and Onion Blend, and I've been getting this at Walmart. I'm going to add three tablespoons of garlic minced up already. And I have two cups of okra here. It's pre-sliced. saute I'm going to add a couple more tablespoons of oil and a third cup of flour Add oil as you need it. I like mine to get a little brown because the browner it gets, the better it tastes, it seems like. Go ahead and add a half teaspoon of salt. That's about where I like it. Okay, I'm using that liquid to deglaze the bottom of that. And I have four cups of broth here. Deglaze it some more. And when you guys use your chicken, you need to have a pound, pound and a half of chicken. Uh, it can be chicken breast or chicken thighs. You can cut them up uh, as they're raw. You can cut them up into like bite-sized pieces and, and put them in this recipe. For myself, I have already boiled and deboned a chicken. I often get those um, big bags, 10 pound bags of like um, thighs and, and boil and debone those for recipes. But um, I have also, for this recipe, you know, used raw chicken. But this time I am gonna use what I have. And the sausage. You can use whatever sausage of your choice, whether it's the smoked sausage or kibasa or andouille or however you say that. Just the sausage of your choice. Put some pepper in here. Just pepper it to your taste. I'm going to use a tablespoon of this, Tony's.
I'm going to put a couple of bay leaves in here. You might want to remove those when you get it done to where you want it. I have a can of homemade tomatoes with bell peppers and onions and stuff in it, but it's going to be the same as like Rotel. Or like a 15 ounce can. put in a dash of thyme about it's going to be about the same as like an eighth of a teaspoon saute off I'm going to set mine for 10 minutes um, when I'm using raw chicken I do often put it on 15 that's kind of up to you and if you guys want to add like a pound of shrimp um, after this goes off, then that would be the time to do it. My husband absolutely hates shrimp in anything, <laughs> so I don't get to put that in mine. But um, when my family's coming over and he's not going to be eating it, a lot of times I'll put it in there, about a pound, and I put it in after this part is done. That way it's... It just doesn't take as long. It doesn't take very long for shrimp to get done. So this is natural released for like nine, 10 minutes and I'm gonna finish it off here. Mm, it smells really good. Now, now if you guys want to add the shrimp, add shrimp to yours, uh, use about a pound and have it already clean, deveined, that kind of thing, and you can put it in for about five minutes, and then just quick release, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and I've got me some rice dipped up here, and I'm gonna put some of this over it and give it a taste for you guys. Over rice is how I like to have it, so that's my suggestion. Good. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.